Hello and welcome. This video is going to be about finding the slope of a line from two points using the slope formula. Now, let's suppose that you're given two points. Let's say 4, 1 and 7, 5. And you were asked to find the slope of the line that passes through these two points. Now, what you could do is you could draw out an x and y graph right? And then you could plot 4, 1 and plot 7, 5, and then you can draw a line through it. And then you could look at the rise and see how much it goes up and over. But you know what? That is a long process. And I can tell you that by the time you finished your X and Y graph, I was done because I'm here to tell you there is an easier way. Okay. And this easier way is called the slope formula. So let me explain a little bit about the slope of a line. Okay, you see the slope is simply the rate of a line rising compared to the rate that it's running, or how much it's going up or down compared to how much it's going over to the right. Okay, now, what that means on a graph is that it's the change in the y going up or down compared to or over the change in the Now this, my friends, is the slope formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now I know you're thinking to yourself that that is a, a pretty complicated thing that you're looking at right there, but I'm here to tell you that it's not so bad. Okay, now, if you look at the first point here, 4, 1, what we uh, call that is our first x and our first y. So we call them x1 and y1. The next point, 7, 5, this is our second x and our second y, and we call those x2 and y2. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This is our formula. We are going to subtract the y's, the y2 minus the y1. And you can see that the arrow is going from the 5 to the 1. We're going to do a 5 minus 1. And then we're going to subtract the x's, x2 minus x1. And that's 7 minus 4. And this is how we write it out. Now, you'll notice that I put the numbers in parentheses, and it's a good habit to get into anytime you're substituting a number, but it's going to really help you on this, and I'll, I'll show you a little later. Now, 5 minus 1 is 4, and 7 minus 4 is 3, and so 4 over 3 is your slope. It's that easy. All right, now, let's try another one, okay? So let's take two new points. We've got negative 2 and 3 and 4 and 5, okay? So this is our slope formula. And what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the y's in a backwards fashion, 5 minus 3. And then we're going to subtract the x's in a backwards fashion, 4 minus negative 2. And so you can see that now putting in the parentheses is really going to help us on the bottom there. We have to really understand that we're subtracting a negative, which turns into a plus, right? And so 5 minus 3 on top is 2, and 4 minus a negative 2 is really 4 plus 2, and so that's 6. And so we get 2 over 6. But you'll notice that 2 over 6 is not simplified, and so we have to make sure that we always simplify it. And I'm sure you know how to simplify a fraction, and we get 1 over 3. And there it is. The slope of our line is 1 over 3. Okay. Now, we're going to try one more uh, with some negatives. Let's add a few more negatives in there to give you a little bit of um, uh, different problems in there. And so let's say we had negative 5 and 2 and 3 and negative 4. Here's our slope formula. We're going to first subtract the y's in a backwards fashion, negative 4 minus 2. And then we're going to subtract the x2 and the x1, 3 minus negative 5. And so now we just have to 
simplify this fraction here. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6, and 3 minus negative 5 is 3 plus 5, which is 8, and so we get negative 6 over 8. And again, this, is, this needs to be simplified, so we are going to simplify that to negative 3 over 4. It doesn't matter if the negative is out front or on that 3. Uh, that is still the same number, and that is your slope. All right. Well, there you have it, the slope formula. Anytime you need to find the slope from two points. And there it is. And I thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped.